Hi, this is Krishna Raichur from Simutech Group. Welcome to Simutech's Tips and Tricks video series. In this video, I'll give you a quick overview of ANSYS Discovery. So what is Discovery? It provides a single immersive and interactive workspace for creating a model and simulating your designs. It has three different stages or modes and you can move freely between them. The model mode, which allows you to focus on 3D geometry modeling. The explore mode, which uses a GPU-based solver to get quick insight by displaying results in real time. And the refine mode, which allows you to simulate more complex physics using standard ANSYS mechanical or fluent solvers. In explore and refine mode, you can still do a lot of geometry editing. So in this demo, we will determine the displacements and stresses on a wheel rim with that curb in different positions. We'll start by launching ANSYS Discovery. I'll close this home page and open an existing wheel rim geometry. Notice that explore mode is the default and the wheel has been assigned a default material. Notice also that all the geometry editing tools are still available while in explore mode. Let's use these tools to create a small block to represent a curb. I'll select the front face of this rim and press K for sketch mode. Over on the right hand side are a few icons and this icon allows me to view the sketch plane head on. Now I'll go to the design tab, click the rectangle icon and let's draw a quick rectangle. I'll hit the space bar and specify the width to be 80 millimeters and tab over to the other field to specify the height to be 30 millimeters. Now let's move this rectangle to center it. Click move, double click rectangle and we'll move in that direction up to the center line and in the vertical direction I'll just position it approximately in the middle of that rim face. Escape out of this operation and I'll temporarily hide this rim. Click the pull icon and let's just extrude this by say 10 millimeters. I will now unhide the rim and fit the image. Let's assign aluminum to this wheel. Triple click to select the solid. Enter aluminum and I'll look for aluminum alloy rot 6061. Now if I double click structural steel that's assigned to the block and aluminum alloy the wheel. The first step for the simulation will be to specify fixed support. I'll select this hole, get all equal radius cylinders and using this halo here we will apply a fixed support. Notice that we have fixed support in the tree and it also shows us the contact regions that have been detected automatically. Next we'll assign a force to that top face of the curb 3000 pounds. Before initiating a solution, let's set up a couple of monitors. There are three predefined ones. Select all three of them. Factor of safety, max displacement, and max stress. Now we can solve. In explore mode, we use the GPU-based solver. Gets done very quickly. I'll switch units to inches here. We can also look at the von Mises stress in the model. As expected, the high stress is near the hole. We can animate this deflection. Of course, this is exaggerated deflections.
For this solution, the refinement level that was used show, is shown here. Let's increase the refinement level now. Click Solve again. Notice the increase in displacement and stress and of course the factor of safety reduced as well. Now let's change the position of that curb. I'll turn off results view, switch to front view, click move, triple click the curb and I'll hold the alt key and double click this outer rim edge. And that allows me to now move along that edge to maybe a different position. If I hit the space bar, I can give it a number if I wanted to, 100 millimeters. Escape out of that operation. And it should now continue to solve. It's indicated by this white line going around this simulation information display. Now we see that our factor of safety has increased because the stress has decreased slightly. The displacement increased marginally and there's the high stress location. Now let's switch over to refine mode. Notice that all our applied boundary conditions and material assignments remain the same except that now we have a few more simulation options which we'll examine a little bit later. You'll also see some mesh controls, both global and local mesh controls. Now let's go ahead and solve this as is with default mesh settings. This green line around the simulation information display shows the progression of the solution. When it goes about halfway around the circle, we can check the mesh. Notice the default mesh is pretty decent. It is curvature based, so wherever there are rounds in the model, the mesh is more refined. Keep in mind that this is using Mechanical's standard FEA solver. The solution is done and this purple triangle here indicates the solution point from the refine mode. Notice that this displacement is slightly higher. Animation here again. with or without the mesh. Lastly, let's examine the solution with large deflection turned on. I'll go to simulation options, additional structural options, and we'll click specify modeling method, which automatically chooses for us nonlinear solution. Nonlinear meaning we will activate large deflection. We'll solve again. With large deflection activated, not much difference in the displacement, not much difference in the stress either. Perhaps with a thinner wheel cross section, we may see more of a difference. There you have it, a quick demonstration of ANSYS discovery. Thank you for watching.